Hi everybody, welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and I thought I'd share my settings in a quick video. Um, remember this is just the opening weekend of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War so these may well change but they seem to be working for me at the moment. I know there's a there's definitely been a problem proved with the um, with the aim assist hasn't the exclusive ace has done a video but let me show you how I've got my game set up. Um, so let's start off with the controller. Now I run a 4 sensitivity on my controller which is pretty low. Well I know they call it medium. Lots of people go much much higher. Never be worried about having a low sensitivity okay. It's fine to have a low sensitivity trust me. Especially if you're older like me and don't quite have the twitch skills that everybody else has where they can spin around do a no scope 360 and then do a headshot with a crossbow. You know, so I have mine low, and so what I'm concentrating on all the time as I'm running around the map, I'm concentrating on centering, which is when I'm not aiming down sights, I want my crosshairs that are in the middle of the screen to be where I think the next enemy could be, so that if an enemy does appear, I can pull the trigger and I'll be basically locked onto them fairly quickly anyway. I don't have to spin at a super speed to get them. It does leave you a bit of a disadvantage if you start getting shot from behind, so you can't spin around um, as fast, but what I find is if I go too high I tend to go past enemies you know I, I spin too far I rotate too far and then miss them that way now you can slowly increase your sensitivity and get better better so I could go to five and six and stuff if you do do that or you are hunting for a good sensitivity whichever sensitivity you choose stay with it for a few days don't try and chase the sensitivity up and down because you'll end up never building that muscle memory into your fingers into your thumbs to to make it work ads stick sensitivity i leave it one button layout is default i don't need to flip the bumpers i know some people like um uh, the bumpers to be the triggers rather than the triggers invert invert vertical look yes i'm one of those sorts of people um controller vibration off don't want any shocks when i run around corners aim down sight aim assist enabled um that that's only for the campaign though and zombies i think don't don't it doesn't work any other stuff slow down and strafing aim assist enabled of course but there is a problem with it at the moment so i think we're all going to find when the first patch drops and Treyarch sort this out we're all suddenly going to get much more accurate airborne mantle behavior automatic uh, aim down sight behavior behavior hold the left trigger steady aim behavior hold again that's holding in clicking in the left uh, analog stick armor behavior apply oil this is an interesting one i haven't actually used this yet because i haven't played any dirty bomb dirty war whatever it's called that game mode where you have armor but what they're saying now is you'll be able to start applying your armor and it will put all of it in you won't have to keep pressing it so it's a pain in warzone is it in modern warfare you've got to keep putting the armor in so that's good uh attack vehicle control mold alternate now i'm, I'm not sure about this one if you remember from the beta if you played the armada map or um crossroads where you had the the tanks the steering was related to the aiming and it was a bit odd so they've now got an alternative method and that where the i think the left stick does your steering and the right stick here we go alternate you can turn left and turn right yeah so i think use the left stick for, for turning and the right stick for throttle and then when you pull the trigger the left trigger to aim it then locks in the throttle and then you can kind of aim i'm not sure if it's better than the old version i'm trying to get I, I haven't played enough in the boats or the tanks to really get to know it um yeah they should just i don't know, they go with whatever it is in in um modern warfare um stick layout default minimum threshold 10 uh, that's to avoid stick drift. If you find you have stick drift, you know, put that up a little bit higher. Uh, if you, your, your uh, DualShock or your Xbox controller is getting a little bit worn, left stick max 99, 10, and 99. There we go. Controller sounds disabled. I wear headphones, can't hear them anyway. Auto move forward disabled. Auto sprint disabled. You know, I've got to click in the left stick to sprint. Um, and that's on toggle. Sprint cancel reload disabled. Parachute auto de deploy enabled. So presumably I won't splat. Equip now. This is interesting. Equipment behavior. Um, actually, it's not. That's normal, isn't it? Hold. So that means you get your grenade out, you hold it, and then you throw it. You release it to, to let it go. Um, here, we are. this is the one. The interact reload behavior. This is the one you might want to pl play around with. So the standard is uh, tap to reload, 
and hold to interact. So that means is when you want to reload your gun, you tap the square button on PlayStation or you tap the X button on Xbox if you're with the default settings and you'll reload. And then if you want to pick up a weapon that's on the floor, for example, an enemy's weapon, you hold square or you hold X. Now when we play Warzone and we're doing loads of looting, all of that holding slows you down so they had um, tap to interact as well but they also had as they have here prioritize reload so what this means is that you always tap so you tap to reload and you tap to pick things up you tap to open up loot boxes um, but what will happen is if you've got the gun in your gun in your hand and you're standing in front of a um, a box you want to open if your gun needs reloading and you tap it will reload your gun first and then if your gun is fully loaded it will let you into the box um, so so that's but have a play around with it. it it can be a bit weird some in certain situations you can end up swapping guns a lot and I, I, I find that happens to me say, say you kill someone and you're standing over their body and their gun is on the floor and you go to reload you end up picking up their gun by mistake so go with what works for you i think it's really warzone probably only really needs that but 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 see what happens graphics um i put my field of view up to 90 degrees i play on an og playstation it seems to handle it okay and i have that little extra bit um i might make it a little bit bigger um, i'm not quite sure yet but I'm, I'm kind of okay with 90 obviously the bigger the bigger the field of view the more of the map you can see you can see people in your peripheral vision but it slows your console down, so you've got to kind of make that make that choice. ADS is effective, brightness, you know, it's whatever it is. Split screen, horizontal motion blur disabled. Let's move on to audio. Master volume all the way up. I turn the music down to 60, turn the dialogue down to 80, uh, cinematics down to 80. Do do whatever works with you. The idea is that you turn down the voices. So, you know, so when you're sitting in a corner, camping, listening for somebody's footsteps, and then all of a sudden it says you know enemy artillery detected and you can't hear the footsteps anymore you, know, you want to turn that down audio preset i'm using headphones at the moment i may well try treyarch mix at some point but headphones seems to be okay footstep sounds are brilliant in this game i uh, can hear them properly can hear them in three dimensions as well even though i'm only wearing stereo headphones which i couldn't do in modern warfare 2019 it was never obvious if you were like on the middle floor of a building you couldn't tell whether someone was above, below, or on the same floor as you, but you can in Black Ops. Very happy about that. Hit markers enabled, voice chat disabled. Obviously, you'll have it enabled. I have it disabled so that when I'm recording videos, people can't hear me chattering away. And I think that's it. Interface subtitles disabled, crosshair shown, hit marker video shown, damage base hit markers shown, ally health markers shown. That's that's actually quite useful that one being able to see how much healthier your, your your teammates have got you can see where they've got into trouble enemy health bar shown player names full name horizontal compass shown floating damage numbers enabled zombies show all i haven't played much zombies so maybe that will change in game alert enabled device hidden mouse tooltip shown and then the next is keyboard and mouse but i don't use keyboard and mouse so there we go there's my settings for call of duty black ops cold war hopefully that helps and just remember whatever you choose stick with it a while you know don't be chasing settings don't be going up and down to try and figure out what is the best thing right there we go thank you very much if you found the video useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon